Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we have a new update for the game so yeah usually I wouldn't make a video on a Friday but I've got a little extra time today and then I heard this update came out yesterday so I thought I'd uh, give it a shot and get the video out as soon as possible so as you can see the physics from the previous update are now fully implemented in the game and here's a little rundown of what they've added as well so they've added a new simulation about the eclipse that um, validated the general rel relativity relativity from Einstein's um, theory there so that's pretty cool they've also added the new delete tool which is quite interesting because I don't really know what all the uses for that will be because usually I just click the delete button or something to delete it so maybe it's just a simpler faster way of doing stuff reduce performance as well that would hopefully be good for more uh, weaker computers and then there's some uh, workshop fixing stuff as well I didn't know there was much problems with that but yeah and smoother trails for fast moving objects that's probably the most or oh, the best bug fix out of those from my, or for me, I think, because the trails have gone completely nuts before with high speed. But one thing that caught my eye with this is the blue planet in that picture. That isn't the, that isn't Uranus or Neptune. That's a custom gas giant there, I think. I don't even think that's um, a spawned in gas giant. I think that's been custom built. So what is that? I want to know what that is. I mean, my first thought was would, when I saw that was, that, oh, they added a new custom Planet 9 finally, but guess there's only one way to find out but that blue object is not in the game so either they've just modded it themselves and put it in the picture there or it's somewhere in the game as a gas giant so i want to know what that is because that's definitely not uranus or neptune there the blue is a different shade so let's go ahead and continue here let's see is it is that a planet nine i hope it was, is so planet nine still has that boring picture so is it just a random spawn still yes it is okay that's quite a shame i thought i thought the um that new blue pictured object there. I thought that was some new gas giant or anything. Let's just quickly have a run down here. If there's any other new objects in here. But I don't think there is. Yeah, that's quite, that's a shame. I thought that a blue object would be something special. So they put an object in the picture. It isn't actually in the game unless you make it yourself. So it's um, pretty interesting there. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and check out this new simulation. So it probably won't be a long video today. But yeah, the most um, newest simulation here. The 100 year anniversary of the eclipse. That validated general relativity from Einstein's theory. So let's go ahead and see what this uh, simulation has for us here. So there's a lot of reading here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and read it. So on May 29th, 1919, a total solar eclipse was visible in parts of South America, Africa, and the Atlantic Ocean. Astronomers used this event as an opportunity to test Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicted the light from distant stars would be bent by the gravity of the sun making them appear in a slightly different location than Newton's model would predict. Two expectations of astronomers, one to Sobral, Brazil, and one to the island of Principe off the coast of Africa, hope I'm saying that right, uh, used telescopes and photographic plates to measure the positions of stars near the sun, which were visible during the eclipse. The results confirmed Einstein's predictions, making headlines around the world and bringing international fame to Einstein and his work. This simulation shows a 1919 eclipse that was used to test the theory. General relativity is not included in this physics simulation, but even if it was, yeah, the, it wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to notice anything. So, um, yeah, there is that. Okay, yeah, very very small size, but right. Let's go ahead and see this eclipse. Where is the moon located at the moment? Okay, so we should be seeing an eclipse appear in South America and the Atlantic here. So let's go ahead and see it. They also actually before we get into that, we'll just quickly pause it. There was also a note on the. Um, next coming update because they're still working on the surface grids now when i heard the update came out i thought it was the surface grids but i only found out a little later on that surface grids are not still not here yet they're still working on those but better have them uh, i definitely prefer to wait than have them added early and stuff not to be right with them so that that's fair enough but um yeah they're still working on that and hopefully we'll see it soon in the next updates it has been ages since we've had an update but i really hope we can get those surface grids soon because that that's the thing that literally everyone is looking forward to i mean that's going to be so cool i mean modded objects could get really really cool with those but yeah they're still working on the surface grids and lasers and from what these uh, images they're showing are they do look pretty cool, and also if you want to read up more on the uh, development updates, you can also join the Universe Sandbox Discord, or just go ahead and read the posts on Steam. But anyways, yeah, now getting into this, let's click play, and look, they've even got the year in the game back, 1919, 5th of, or 29th of the 5th. I know, they, I know it has it a different way around, but where I'm from, I'd put the month before the day, so for me it'd be 1919, 29 of the 5th, but I've got it around different here. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and see. Well, actually, I'd have the year at the very end as well. So for me, it'd be 5th, 29, 1919. Yeah, I think uh, 
different places put the date in different ways. But where's the, where's the moon eclipse at? I'm going to speed things up a bit. We should see it. Where's that at? No? Did we miss it? Let me open that again. Did, did we miss it? I don't think we did, did we? Right, we're looking for the eclipse now. I, I, I will definitely check if I have my... Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I had my shadows or something turned off. But there is the eclipse there. So, yeah, full eclipse across the... Um, obviously, South America, Brazil area there. Across the um, mid-Atlantic mid and then going into Africa there. So, there we go. So, there is the eclipse. So, let's go ahead and see that. Yeah, there you go. So, it goes all the way across and then it's gone. It's pretty cool how you, the year's gone all the way back. That's cool. So, um, yeah, there we go. Right, is there any, is anything in here? And then it's just the rest of the solar system. There's no Neptune in here. What is this sorcery? Why is Neptune not there? What? That's um, that's quite annoying. Out of all the planets, it's missing. All right, there we go. Hang on, does that Uranus look different? Let me just check. I just want to see that. Is that different? I oh, know it's still the same old. Okay, it's just the band wasn't visible. No, the bands. That, there's the band. Right, anyways, I think that is everything for this update, guys. So, yeah, still um, still waiting on that surface, because yeah, I can't wait for that. It'll be so cool once that is added, but because the amount of cool new videos and ideas we'll be able to do with that, that update will be really, really cool. But, yeah, for now, that is the um, latest update for Universe Sandbox 2. So, this is, um, was it Alpha 22.3? Yeah, Alpha 22.3 in the bottom left there so yeah that is all of this update contains also if you want to read up any more like i said go ahead and check it on the steam page and go and check out the blog posts that they have done on the um, surface grids as well but yeah that is pretty much everything in the game that they have added apart from this delete tool i don't know where where is it let's see if i got tools so delete do you, you just click stuff and it deletes them okay that actually does, that is actually a lot easier compared to what it used to be where you used to have to select an object and you had to manually click delete on your keyboard so now there's just a delete button where you can just quickly go and spam click and just delete whatever you want. So yeah, that's actually uh, that's a welcome addition if you ask me. I think that'll make life a lot easier. So yeah, now we have a nice delete tool so we can just delete delete stuff singularly, which that's actually going to come in quite useful rather than just selecting every object and just clicking delete on the keyboard. I like that. But yeah, anyways, that is all of the stuff for this update, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, let that um, or click that like button down below. See if we can go for uh, 30 likes on this video as well, guys. And yeah, let me know um, what you think of this update, and if I miss anything, also let us know down below in the comments. But I believe that is everything. And yeah, now we're on the way to the next update. Hopefully, I'm assuming it'll be update 23, not 22 anymore. Once that once that new big feature gets added, so that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, that is it, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're new, and yeah. Goodbye.